Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I thought I would take a look at the Batman by Neil Adams Omnibus. Now, this is an older book, came out in 2016, so it's not new, of course, this is a retro view. Uh, I had a difficult time trying to find this online. Uh, seems to be out of print. The only couple places I found it, they're, they're out of stock or they're going for stupid prices. Uh, I have no idea if DC's going to do a reprint of this. I think they should. Uh, it's about time for a reprint. Uh, Batman's very popular. I mean, the new movie just came out. This seems like it would be a good time for a reprint. But anyway... Uh, Let's take a look at it. This is a big omnibus. As you can see, I mean, this is just huge. There's the spine. And there's the back. Uh, this retailed for $100 back in the day, which, for a book this size, is a really good price. Although, back then... Um, I'm sure it was more expensive. You, you couldn't pick up an omnibus this big for that price nowadays. Inside, uh, we have a nice cover. Uh, instead of the dust jacket cover, we've got the cover for Batman 251. Uh, classic, classic cover. I... I have a poster of this uh, that I've got in the wall down in my family room, and I, I've always loved this poster. Uh, great artwork, just just iconic. So I'm glad they put that on there. Uh, everything else, we've got some more art here on the back. It's not a wraparound art cover, but all Neil Adams goodness. Now, unlike other omnibuses, this is not a collection of consecutive storylines. This is a collection of Neil Adams Batman artwork, is what it is. Um, the art is all Neil Adams. The writing is lots of people. Neil Adams, Bob Haney, Dennis O'Neill, Len Wein, Marvel, Marvel, Marvel Wolfman. I mean, there's, there's tons of different people. Uh, it does tell you in the table of contents what issues there are. Uh, starts off in 1968 and goes all the way through to 1976. And it also includes, uh, from 2010 to th 2012, we have Neil's Batman Odyssey Volume 1 and Volume 2. So there you have the contents. Starts off with an introduction by Neil Adams, uh, forward by uh, Dennis O'Neill. I got to meet Denny O'Neill once at my uh, local comic shop. He and then edit, uh, editor of DC Comics, or was he was in charge of DC Comics at the time? Denny O'Neill and Julia Schwartz. It was great to meet them. I got Denny to sign a book. It, it was great. Uh, what I like about this is they include the covers. These are classic old Bronze Age covers. I always liked Neil Adams' artwork. I thought he did uh, just a fantastic Batman. And there's World's Finest, issues number 176. And like I said, the titles are going to jump all over the place. It's, it's just a compilation of artwork. Comic art from from Neil, so you're not going to have full stories, it's not all the same titles exactly, 
uh, just lots of Neil's art, and I, I really liked it. Uh, let's see, what is this one? Uh, Batman versus the Creeper. I remember the Creeper. Got Batman and the Flash. These are these are uh, older Brave and the Bold issues that we're seeing. Boy, Bork. I've never heard of Bork. I don't think Bork made it. That's pretty dumb name for a supervillain. But you know they try and throw stuff out there and see what works, what doesn't. Doesn't always work. Uh, the page quality is really nice, uh, very smooth, uh, not, not really glossy, but, uh, um, it's kind of reminds me of the Marvel Masterworks Teen Titans. Speaking of did I say Teen Titans? Marvel Masterworks series. Teen Titans is right here. Um, that It's that kind of paper. So it's good quality. Uh, there's Sergeant Rock. I remember Sergeant Rock well. Uh, it, I wasn't so much into war comics when when back in the day when I was uh, into comics, but uh, I do remember Sergeant Rock, and I remember the Untold Soldier. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Here we go, classic Batman Green Arrow team up. I always liked Green Arrow too. Uh, I don't know what it was. He was just a cool character. Uh, who knew that one day he would have his own TV series? Got Dead Man again. If you don't like Neil Adams' art, you will not. You will not like this book. But if you're a Batman fan, how can you not like Neil Adams? Surely. To be honest, I oh, and, and this is funny too. We've got a different take on Batman in Neil's era. I mean, we got Batman singing Christmas carols. I just don't think they would do that nowadays. Got Man Bat, 400th uh, issue of uh, Detective Comics. And obviously we're not getting the Robin and Batgirl storyline in here. Uh, they do have a Robin omnibus and a Batgirl omnibus that has those stories in them. Uh, oh, Enemy Ace. Enemy Ace was part of a part of DC's uh, War Comics characters. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't get too much into the War Comics. At least. At least over here in America. In in England, where I, I spent many years growing up there, England had lots of war comics, and, and I got into those. But this is just awesome Batman stuff. This is a, a classic cover. I, I remember this one when, when Robin is just dissolving into dust in front of Batman, I, and I, I love the way he's just, the, the dust is going through his fingers, his cape is, is splayed out over the floor. I love this era of, of Batman's costume. Uh, the bluish, the blue cape and cowl, blue trunks, blue boots, gray shirt, gray pants, Got the utility belt, of course, and uh, classic Batman symbol. Uh, here's another one here. Got Ross Al Ghul. 
And I think I've got that in Tales of the Demon hardcover that I have. Oh, there's Two-Face. But yeah, Neil, Neil did such a good job. I, I would kind of like to have met him. I, I it, he's still alive, right? I don't think he. I don't think he's passed away or anything. Ah, one of Neil's classic, iconic covers, right there, right here. This is uh, Batman number two forty four. Batman's duel with Ross Al Ghul. Beautiful classic cover, awesome. And here we have Batman kissing Talia, and, and really, who wouldn't? Uh, I do have these issues, now that I think about it, in the Tales of the Demon hardcover I have. But that's the story. Oh, yeah, here we go. 251. Uh, if you like this cover and have never read the issue, you've got it right here. Written by Denny O'Neill. Artwork, of course, Neil Adams. I like Denny O'Neill's work, too. Uh, he, this is a classic Neil Adams splash page right here. Th this is just really screams Batman. It's an awesome, awesome piece of art right there. Let's see, what is this one? Uh, Batman. I don't remember this one. Book and record set. I do remember those back in the day when uh, vinyl albums were uh, the main way of getting your, your music. Of course, it's interesting to know that they made a comeback I never would have anticipated. Lots of good stories here. Uh, I got Man Bad again. Now, oh, check this out. Another Neil Adams picture that's like, whoa, artwork. This is the infamous Batman Odyssey. What do you think of Batman Odyssey? I have very mixed feelings about it. I mean, you've got, got Batman with a gun here, Robin. I mean, it's so... And, and Neil's art, I, I don't know what he was doing or thinking on this. It's so bizarre. I mean, I'm happy to have it in the collection. Here's Batman getting all shot up. Uh, I just, I don't know what to think about it. I mean, Batman wouldn't use guns, for example. It's strange. And you've kind of got Bruce Wayne being the narrator, addressing you directly as the reader, which... I suppose nothing wrong with that. It was just a little unusual. Uh, there's Talia. Riddler. Uh, I just... I don't know what to think. I really don't. I mean, here's Aquaman, and he's got this... Mullet? It's so strange. It's like, Neil, what? Were you on something when you made this? It's just so bizarre. It's 
just such strange art. I mean, I mean, look at Bruce there. Some of the dialogue is here. We have Batman just well, Bruce Wayne just so tired he's gonna collapse and take a nap right here, and Dead Man's upset that Bruce Wayne is taking a nap and just in front of everybody. It's just, what? I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> and there we get Batman. Is he riding a dinosaur? Yes, he's right. Batman is riding a dinosaur. If you ever wanted to see Batman ride a dinosaur, pick it up. This face here, it's... I mean, look at this. Neil, I mean, he, he, he's got like, a, like an ape face. Look at this. I don't know what is going on. And I know DC probably published it because it is Neil Adams. But seriously, folks, I, I, I don't know what they were thinking. It's, I don't know. What, can anyone share their thoughts? I'm not, uh, you can hate it, you can love it. It, it doesn't bother me at all, just. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know your thoughts. If anyone's got any insights into, I don't know, the creation of this, or maybe you know, uh, you've, maybe you've read something about Neil's intentions on this series, please share them, because I'm really curious. Some of the dialogue is, see, like, Batman shooting this guy? I, I don't... Oh, dialogue. Look at the dialogue. I will track you down, and I will find you, and I will kill you dead. It, I... That's the dialogue. I just... It's so... It's so odd. Anyway, that's that. They've got both volumes in there. Uh... Now we come to the extras, and they do have quite a bit of extras. We've got a, a cover gallery here, uh, which is nice. Lots of different issues here. Uh, Golden Age goodness. I don't know if any of these covers, or quite, f I, I don't know if any of these covers are from key issues or anything. I don't think so. But it's nice to have them. I, 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 like, I like looking at comic covers. I like, uh, I like seeing them uh, in the, the omnibuses right at the beginning of the story. Uh, I know there's been some where they haven't had the covers. And I, I really prefer them. I, I, I like to kind of get an insight as to, okay... Uh, Here's what's going to go down this issue. This one I saw on, uh, well, who, who is it? Comic Tom 101 on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, this was one of those uh, big sellers. I guess this is sort of a key issue. Uh, you'll have to watch Tom for more information about this. But apparently this is selling well on the comic market. It, it harkens back to the original Golden Age, uh, one of the original Golden Age covers, and, and that was Neil's homage to it. Uh, again, this is all just really good, inventive Neil Adams artwork. I like this one too, I remember that one. It was kind of creepy. Batman's hung and 
He's all like, you killed me, and I'm going to prove it. Yeah, so, some of the... I remember as a kid, I was a lot younger. I, I was a teenager of the 80s, so I was a kid of the 70s, and I found some of the Batman comics a little intimidating because Neil and Denny returned Batman back to the Dark Knight he was always supposed to be. Ah, I like that. Look at that. What a great cover. That's a great Batman right there. Here's another one. Robin seems to get killed a lot on these covers. And, of course, here we go. Uh, this is from 1977. Uh, this is, of course, another classic cover where Batman tangles with Ra's al Ghul. And it's just great. Neil Adams did a great job. Uh, here we have Heroes Against Hunger, back from 1986. I actually bought that one. Uh, all proceeds went to uh, uh, humanitarian efforts in, in Africa because there was, a, there was a huge famine going on at the time. So I, had, I got that issue. Uh, it, it was uh, drawing attention to that, that problem. I don't know how well it did. I don't know how much money it raised. Um, this is from 1988. Cover art. 1990, 1975. So the dates are kind of all over. This one's the classic one. Uh, this is what's on the front cover. And it's from the uh, Neil Ad Batman Illustrated by Neil Adams Volume 1 collection cover from 2003. Can you still get that in the trade, maybe? I'm not sure. But there's Volume 2 cover. Wait a minute. Maybe this was... No, this is not the cover for the book here. It's this one. And there's Volume 3. And here we have uh, the collection cover of Batman Odyssey where he's riding a pterodactyl. And we also have sketches by Neil Adams. Storyboards, presentations. This was for some kind of amusement park. Never got off the ground. More sketches. And then these were commercial art that uh, Neil Adams had produced. And then we have a, bio a biography of Neil Adams. So, there you have it. It is a good book. If you can find it, I recommend it. I don't know that I would pay a stupid price for it. Um seems to be difficult to find. If, if maybe, if you don't mind the trade paperbacks, if you can find the same content in a, in a trade, go for it. Uh, my problem is, is I prefer hardcovers, so it gets difficult for me when a book goes out of print and I can't get a copy of it because it's, it's rare or, or it just goes for stupid prices or both. So, anyway, I appreciate you joining me and letting me review this with you. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye.